Right, that's uh, Tuesday dealt with. Let's take a look at Wednesday now. Uh, half seven mass. I can take that. And uh, maybe could you take the eight o'clock at all? <laughs> right, I can take that as well. Now, um, the half six evening mass on Sunday. Evening mass? <laughs> too early. No problem, I can take that as well. I just make a note. Morning, Ted. Morning, Dougal. <laughs> uh, Dougal, there's a... There's some shaving cream just there. No, there's not, Ted. No, you're grand. <laughs> no, on you. Oh, where exactly, Ted? J just there, below your ear. Here. Yes, and there's a, there's a bit more... Gone. No, there's still just a tight... Dougal, it's, it's all over the place. <laughs> oh, God. How on earth did all that get there? I didn't even shave this morning. <laughs> so, what are we doing today, Ted? Confessions and mass and things like that, I suppose. Yes, Dougal, things like that. <laughs> it's great being a priest, isn't it, Ted? God, it's lovely out. <laughs> oh, wait till I tell you, Ted. Funland's coming to Craggy Island. It'll be here Saturday. Oh, yes, this is the fairground thing. I'll, <laughs> I wouldn't have much interest in that type of thing myself, to be honest. <laughs> They've got a spider baby. <laughs> a what? A spider baby. You know, it's kind of a freak show thing, you know? It's got the body of a spider, but it's actually a baby. And... <laughs> How is it a baby? Does it have a nappy on it or something? No. Well, um, does it have the head of a baby? Um, no. Well, if it looks like a spider and it doesn't actually gurgle at you or anything, how do you know it's actually a baby? They keep it in a pram. <laughs> Dougal, are you absolutely sure about this? You're not confusing it with the dream you had or anything? <laughs> no, honestly, I, I saw it on the news. Uh, honestly, I, I, oh, oh, wait now, actually. Now that you say it, it was a dream, yeah. <laughs> have you been studying this like I told you? Oh, I have, Ted, I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, but we should go anyway, Ted. Come on, it'll be great. Uh, last year I had to go with the horse riding and it was just fantastic. I didn't know you could ride horses. <laughs> well, it wasn't a real horse, Ted, like... Uh... <laughs> It was this old fella with a saddle on him. <laughs> God, he, he must have been about 80, you know. Well, of course, he couldn't go very fast. Like, you know, I was kind of lashing him with the whip and all that. But couldn't get much of a response out of him, you know. And uh, how long were you up on him? Oh, I'd say it was about... Uh, about an hour. <laughs> so, you were up on an 80-year-old man, riding him around and whipping him for 60 minutes. You realise that image will stay with me for the rest of my life. <laughs> I know, Ted. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Come on. We should go. No, I, I don't think I could take the excitement, to be honest. I suppose I'll just see if there's anything on the television, though. What type of a jumper is that, anyway? Well, basically, it's a Maybe I'll just go and study the old diagram. <laughs> Hello, Father. Ted Crilly speaking. Hello, Father. Sorry to disturb you. My name is Terry McNamee. I'm producing the programme Faith of Our Fathers for Telly Aaron at the moment. We're doing a special on priests who work in isolated communities, and I was wondering if you'd be interested in talking to us. Well, that's, that's very, um... <laughs> That's uh, very exciting. <laughs> Faith of Our Fathers is my favourite programme, you know. Well, you were the first person we thought of. <laughs> if you are interested, I could come over. And we could give you a small fee for your trouble. Well, I must say that. Who's that, Ted? Uh, no one. No one? Hello, Father Crilly. No. Must, must be someone, Ted. <laughs> well, just a moment. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, quick question. How exactly do you get to Craggy Island, Father? It doesn't seem to be on any maps. No, it wouldn't be on any maps now, Terry. We're not exactly New York. <laughs> no, the best way to find it is generally to head out from Galway and go slightly north till you see the English boats with the nuclear symbol on the side. <laughs> they go very close to the island when they're dumping the old glow-in-the-dark. <laughs> One thing, are there any other priests living there with you? Our researcher doesn't mention anyone else. Um, well, uh, no, there's no one else here. <laughs> I'll see you on Saturday, then. I'll give you a call when I get there. Bye. back, Ted. <laughs> Never turn on the television when Father Jack's asleep. You know how he is. But he's always asleep. <laughs> yes, well, anyone who's served the church as long as he has deserves a rest. <laughs> it's actually quite an honour for us to look after him in his old age, you know. <laughs> look at him. Dreaming of past glories, no doubt. Girls, pay attention. We've got a special treat today. Father Hackett has very kindly volunteered to take you all for volleyball practice. <laughs> right, Father. And he's just reminded me that it's very warm today, so there'll be no need for your tracksuit tops. <laughs> Father Dougal McGuire here. And welcome to this week's Top of the Pops. And in at number 45 this week is Father Ted Crilly with I've Got the Power. And at number 15 for the 16th week in a row is Father Jack Hackett with I'm a Sleepy Priest. How does that gobshite get on the television? <laughs> The television broken again, Father. Yes, we Never had a bit of trouble with it. There's nothing wrong with it that can't be fixed with a bit of you know what in the head department. <laughs> now then, who's for tea? Uh, me, please, Mrs. Doyle. Tea! Thick! <laughs> oh, I'm fine, Mrs. Doyle. You won't have a cup. Ah, no, thanks, Mrs. Doyle. Honestly, I won't have a cup. Are you sure now it's hot? <laughs> no, I'm not in the mood, thanks. <laughs> All right, so. I go on, would you not have a drop? No, thanks anyway, Just Mrs. A Doyle. Cup. I'm fine. Uh, no, really. I'll tell you what, Father. I'll pour Seriously. a cup for you anyway. Seriously. Ah! You can have it if you want. No. And what do you say to a cup? Fake off, cup! He loves his cup of tea. Fake off! There you go. Fake off! Father Crilly, I nearly forgot. There was a phone call earlier from a Terry McNamee. Ah, oh, right. Who's that, Ted? I've never heard of him. Well, he's something to do with the... wasn't it the television? Yes, he's coming to fix the television. Yeah, well, he'll be here tomorrow at 12. Grand. <laughs> yeah, it's good you called someone, Ted. <laughs> Still not working. <laughs> You're simply the best. Do 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 better than all the rest. Do 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 do. <coughs> God, Ted, you frightened the life out of me there. You were uh, doing the old pop star thing there, Dougal. I was, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> it was great being on television today. I think I've caught the old telly bug. Well, <laughs> go to bed now and get some sleep. You don't want to get overtired. Do you ever want to get into television yourself, Ted? Ah, no, I... I wouldn't be interested in that kind of thing, really. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I don't think you'd be much good at it, actually. What? Why not? Well, you know, you're a bit serious, aren't you? And your eyes are a bit crossed. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit wonky, Ted. You know, the cameras can pick that up, you know. I am not cross-eyed Dugan. Ah, you're a bit now, Ted. <laughs> sure, half the time I don't know if you're talking to me or Father Jack. <laughs> Dugan, why don't you just... Get some sleep, right? Just have to say the old prayers. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed. <laughs> Hallowed be thy name. 
Uh, Papa, don't preach. <laughs> Dougal, you know you can praise God with sleep. Can you, Ted? <laughs> yes, it's a way of thanking him for a tiring day. God, there's lots of ways you can praise God, isn't there, Ted? Like that time you told me to praise him by, you know, just leaving the room. <laughs> that was a good one, yes. Ted. Mm hmm? Ted. Yes. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Father Dougal Maguire. Good night, Dougal. <laughs> I can hear you a bit better now. That's, that's a, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you made it then, yeah? I think so. There's no indication that it is Craggy Island. There's no signs or anything. I, I, is there a man looking at you with a T-shirt saying, I shot J.R.? <laughs> Actually, there is. Uh, you, you're here, so, yeah. What? The line is very bad, Father. You're a bit muffled. I'm on a portable phone. You, you caught me by surprise when you phone me, you know. <laughs> I'm on the toilet. <laughs> right, so, uh, so where can we meet? Anywhere we can get a few good shots. Any local landmarks? No. What? No, there are no landmarks here now, Terry. None at all. No, no, the island itself is a kind of landmark, really. For ships and that. The general rule is if you're heading away from it, you're going in the right direction. Right, so, uh... There's the field. Oh, a field. Well, that sounds... Well, it's not a field, really, but it has less rocks in it than most places. Never mind, Father. I'll meet you at the field. Now, how do I get there? Ask Tom there. He'll help you out. Right, Father. Thanks. Mother of God! Oh, God, Ted, I I'm so sorry. It, it was just a joke. <laughs> Try to avoid doing that again, Dougal. I thought it was really herself. <laughs> it's the last thing I need. You're right there, Ted. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's time for Jack's walk. Time for your walk, Father Jack. Yes, <laughs> you! Off around the cliffs. Can I bring him to Funland, Ted? He'd love that. No, he wouldn't. Take him around the cliffs. And this time, if you're going near the edge, put on the brakes. He was only just lucky the last time. <laughs> um, you're not coming yourself? Uh, no, I know. I think I'll stay here and pray for a while. <laughs> oh, what are you after, Ted? I'm not after anything, Dougal. It's not unknown for members of the clergy to pray from time to time. <laughs> Father Crilly. Get away! Oh, there's nothing Father Hackett likes more than to get out and about in the fresh air. Get away! Come on, you're going to get the floor, you idiot! Come on, you're going to get the floor, you idiot! That's... Get him, get him! No! Ah! 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 That's it now. In you go, isn't that very no. good man? This will keep you nice and warm. Hi then. Every single day, the same thing. Now, once he's out there, he has a great time. He loves them old cliffs. Mm. Well, I'd be off then, Father. What are you up to yourself? Oh, I think I'll just stay here and have a bit of an old parade. All right, so enjoy the rest of the weekend. I didn't know the bloody thing was on here. Hello, Father. Hello, Tom. <laughs> Tell the errand, lads. Uh, did you get them here all right? I did, yeah. I got to film a bit of the island first. They'll be back soon. Right, so. I'll just wait in the field, so. <laughs> Father. Yes, Tom. 
I've killed a man. Thank you, Tom. I'll, uh, I'll have to talk to you about that later. I'm doing an interview for the television. <laughs> the little boy has been lost. Thank you. <laughs> Keep your hands on the sides. The child has now been found. Thank you. The fat, smelly cow. <laughs> Yeah, but it tastes like a pair of tits. Well, at least that's one pair between us. <laughs> hello, Mary. Ah, hello, Father. Hello, John. Would you have a pack of tofos, Father? No, thanks. I have to meet someone now. Actually, I'm going to be interviewed for a television programme. Oh, really? Oh, that's fantastic. You know, Father, I think you'd be brilliant on television. <laughs> Well, thank you. Oh, I'd say you'll be more than a match for Gay Borden or Terry Wogan or any of them. <laughs> it's going to take me a few weeks to get to their level. <laughs> well, I, I have to go now. I'm trying to track down this film unit, and uh, they'll probably want to do a few close-ups and master shots and noddies and that sort of thing. And I don't want to be lit on set, get a reputation as a sort of Marilyn Monroe type. See you soon. <laughs> Look, Father Ted. Get them feckin' crunchies out of the car. <laughs> taking Jack for his walk. Well, um, uh, the cliffs were closed for the day. How would the cliffs be closed, Dougal? OK, no, uh, it wasn't that. They were gone. <laughs> the cliffs were gone. How could they just disappear? <laughs> Erosion. <laughs> Come on off that and straight to the cliffs with you. Uh, there's just another couple of turns to go, I think. Look. Straight home, do you hear? <laughs> I don't want to hear any more nonsense. Everyone else is here. Dougal, you're a priest. You're supposed to show some decorum. I wish I wasn't a priest. What? I wish I wasn't a priest. Dougal! Jack heard you say that. So he told me one time he doesn't even believe in God. Dougal! <laughs> because there was a young fella killed on it last year. Come on, Ted. Be really good. Look, I'm sick and tired of your... Ted, look, there's a fortune teller. Come on, we'll have one go in there. Don't waste your money on that stuff, Dougal. Oh, Ted, you never know. There might be something in it. It's rubbish. How can anybody believe any of that sort of nonsense? Come on, Ted. Just no more peculiar than that stuff we learned in the seminary, you know, heaven and hell and everlasting life and all that type of thing. You're not meant to take it seriously, Ted. Dougal, you are so too meant to take it seriously. Are you? Yes! Oh, heaven and hell and everlasting life. Yes, of course! <laughs> If I let you go in, will you go home straight after that? I will, I will, I promise, Ted. All right. Hello? Hello, Ted. Let's go, Ted. What's wrong? I'm scared. Oh, for pity's sake, Ted, I'll do it and you can watch. Hello there. Sit! <laughs> First you must cross my pan with silver. Silver? I don't carry huge bags of it around. Give me a pound. <laughs> now, I'll interpret... One card at a time, please. Be careful. <laughs> um, I wasn't concentrating. Uh, perhaps I could pick another. No, no, this is a common misunderstanding. The Grim Reaper doesn't mean death in a literal sense. Rather, it may mean the death of an old way of life and the beginning of a new one. Ah, I know what that is. <laughs> uh, it's probably about a new lamp I'm getting for my bicycle. Another <laughs> card, please. Well, uh, it will all become clear at the next card. <laughs> this is really weird. There's only supposed to be one in each pack. Uh, hello, Tom. 
Is Father Crilly around yet? He is, yeah. He's in Dale. God, that's a nasty scar you've got there, Tom. Where did you get that? I was, uh, in an argument. Oh. <laughs> I hope you won. I certainly did. <laughs> Let's not. I've had worse than that. You believe me, old dog did that to me. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a face? <laughs> Father Jacket, he'll have to get some home. It's nearly five in time for his drink. <laughs> you put that in. I'll go this way. Okay. That's Siobhan. Please return to professional tent to preheat the hamburger. Come on now, Father. We better be off. Come on. Come on. <laughs> father! Father! <laughs> there you are, Father. We got here at last. Father! Father! Dead to the world. Do you don't know what's going on? Jin! Right! It's time for your drink. Come on. Yen the Come on! Come on. From, from the television. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> we'll just ask you a few questions. What, am I going to be on the telly? <laughs> well, yes. We'll start off with the history of the island, then move on to how life has changed for the islanders, economically and socially. And then perhaps... <laughs> Father, how would you say that people's religious beliefs here on Craggy Island have been affected by the advent of television and greater access to the media in general? God, Drink. no, they're talking to do Drink. 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 There I am, it's me, look, I'm on the telly. Mm. So, God. Does he really exist? I mean, who knows? Like, I don't know. Personally, I don't even believe in organised religion. I know, it's great, isn't it? Spider baby. It's got uh, the body of a spider, but the mind of a baby. <laughs> it wouldn't really bite you uh, unless uh, it got a bit older. I know, I can't believe it either. I'm on the television. <laughs>